Hey YouTube, it's Extensive Tactical here. So just got interrupted doing an EDC video, so I'm going to redo it for you guys, alright? So the watch I was wearing today is the uh, Fossil Quartermaster Smart Q. Uh, and on my right side, I've been carrying the Gerber Center Drive. Okay. As you can see, um, I carry that in a Leatherman Wave sheath uh, because I like the Leatherman Wave sheath. It lets me carry a uh, fire starter and a little Fisher sp space pin if I wanted to, uh, but I think it just goes well. I'm used to the Leatherman uh, Wave holster, so I put that in there. My keys, of course. You guys have seen those before. I've got my all metal S carabiner back. Uh, also on my right side, I've been carrying my Buck Bantam pocket knife. The orange camo. All right. Um, Pilot G2 uh, pin. My Burt's Bees. My orange Zippo, which pairs with my orange knife and pairs with my orange uh, match thrower, or match thrower, spark thrower, uh, knife sharpener that has the hook sharpener on here, T-bits, uh, and then shear sharpener right there, and uh, yeah, I've got my two-bladed buck canoe pocket knife, my ring that almost got cut in half today, so I took it off. Um, my other buck knife is a search and rescue knife. It's got the, uh, serrations and then the straight edge here, right here, has a lock that you have to pull down for it to be able to close. Okay, but you also have to pull it down for it to be able to open, because you see I'm not pulling it down, it won't open. Okay, and then... won't close you saw my hand shaking so there you go it's got the uh it's got multiple ways to open it you can use your finger on those and open it or you can flick it got the seat belt cutter and a window punch so yeah um been carrying that and then that's in my left back pocket uh along with my Field notes, notebook, and then my fixed blade I've been carrying, guys. I think you guys uh, recognize this. I've had one before. He was gone for a while, but now he is back, and he is glad to be back. Um, this is just one of the fixed blades I carry. I carry two fixed blades. Uh, this one has two different ways it sits on my belt. Um, usually sits on my belt just one way, and then my other one sits on my belt a different way. You guys probably caught a glimpse of that. Uh-oh. It's the Gerber strong arm. that's right. Um, guys, I got him back. I'm glad to have him back after a while. You know, I got the serrated version, though. Uh, if you've been watching for quite a while... You know I had the uh, straight edge version and everything, but I've got the serrated version now. Um, so this sits on the small of my back, all right, and I just carry it like that on the small of my back. Sometimes I'll switch it and uh, wear it by the belt right here. I'll wear my belt through that and then tie it to my leg. But the other one I carry, and you, you're going to make fun of me, but I carry this because it's a good knife. I've been testing it, and for a $9 knife, that's right, $9, it's a phenomenal knife, all right? It's the UST. Okay. I've been testing this knife out. You can see all the wear and tear on it and everything. 
and all that good stuff. Been testing it, putting it through abuse and everything. Uh, because initially, I saw this knife for $9 at Walmart, and I saw how thick it was and everything, and I got it. Uh, honestly, just to throw in my bug out bag, that way I'd have a quick ditch knife. Uh, meaning, you know, I'd have a knife that I could basically fuck up and not be too worried about or uh sad about or whatever so i got that knife um expecting to use it for that and so i decided you know what i'll go ahead carry it a little bit give it a shot see how i like it and um after batoning with it for a little bit and messing with it and sharpening it and camping and hiking and hunting with it and everything else and just having it on my side I've decided I really like that knife uh the paracord that's wrapped around the handle is gonna come off um I'm putting my own handle skills on there uh I've gotten into doing more custom stuff for knives now um as well and then i made a leather sheath for it uh which i might hesitate to put it in because i need to find a or add a ferro rod holder to that leather sheath uh one person i know makes really good leather sheaths uh that's also a youtuber is sos okay um i watch his channel a lot when it comes to uh leather craft and stuff um, so, I mean, that's where I get my ideas. Anyway, uh, you know, that's what I carry. Uh, and I mean, you can even count my belt because it's a tactical belt. Um, I'm about to go get, hopefully, my watch back, my other watch back, which is my G-Shock. Uh, I miss my G-Shock. Been trying to get it back. I also carry bandana um on my neck i get asked about this a lot it's my fire starter okay uh that's the one i could keep in that sheath for the multi-tool if i wanted and dog tags all right um carry my band-aid holder i've got a moleskin uh which is not fit full yet uh getting there but right now i'm filling up my uh Field notes, got two extra field notes and all that. I keep all my extra stuff over here on the bedside table. Uh, got my commando saw in my Navy SEAL uh, tactical nightstand. That's right, I said Navy SEAL tactical nightstand. Um, got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve cans of dip. Got a straight razor. <sighs> Boy Scout pouch. Field Scout 48. Got paracord in there. This is the uh, handmade sheath I made for a buck 110. Again, I go and I watch SOS's uh, leather craft and stuff and learn how to do things uh, by watching that. So. I mean, that's that's where I learned to do a bunch of the stuff I do. Uh, do I do I want a buck one ten? Do I need a buck one ten? Yes. Uh, why? It's always part of my EDC. Not having one kind of irritates me. But anyway, that's my EDC. Uh, I am gonna go work on getting stuff back. Is there anything I'm gonna eliminate? Maybe. I don't know yet. Uh, if I find my Gerber impromptu pin, I'll take that pilot pin out. Carry the uh, prompt the Gerber, and then, uh, you know, probably go ahead and, uh, carry it, carry the, uh, pilot pin if I need to for some reason, like if I'm in a suit or whatever, or at church or something like that, I don't know yet though, but that's most likely what I'll do, uh, that's what I did before I got the, uh, before I lost the um, Gerber Impromptu is I was carrying that as an everyday pin and then got to where I was looking at it 